For any of you out there who are into bags, have you ever done that thing where you've been really tempted to get this bag that's been in your mind and then you put it off for whatever reason, maybe it's a classic style, you know the brand's always gonna do it, so you're thinking, well, I won't do it now, I'll leave it a bit. Then before you know it, there is a price rise. And then you start thinking, I wish I just bought it back then, but the whole cycle starts again. You go and look at it again, you're like, well, they're always gonna do it, I'm gonna leave it. Before you know it, price has gone back up again. There are some bags that I really deeply regret not buying because they were on my mind then, they're still on my mind now, and they cost a lot more. So I'm gonna go through those, but also I've got some price increase information from Dior, information that I found out two days ago. So um, it might be of interest to those of you who are looking at getting a Dior bag soon, if there's one in particular you like the look of anyway. The first bag that I'm so annoyed that I didn't get sooner is, you know the mini Lady Dior, which I have one here, this bag. I have got, the, I've got one mini Lady Dior, uh, and I have it in this color, which is kind of like a pearlescent pink color. This in black calf skin with silver hardware. I'm someone who, I'm really attracted by kind of limited edition, fun colors or fun designs and most of the time I can wear those no problem but there are those you know those times in your life where you just need like a plain looking bag and there have been times where I've really thought I wish that I had this just in plain black and I regret not doing it so the mini Lady Dior going all the way back to 2015 summer 2015 I bought my first ever Lady Dior, and some of you might remember it. It was the baby blue patent uh, Dior in the, at the time that was the small size, but it's now known as the medium. I was torn between getting the mini or the small. And I vividly remember putting it on my Instagram because I didn't know whether to get patent baby blue or baby pink. The mini at the time was 1,700 pounds and the small size was about 2,400, I feel like, but definitely the mini was 1,700. Fast forward to today, how much is it? The mini, so this size, is now 2,650 pounds. That's the new price rise, by the way, which came out a couple of days ago in the UK. So this bag, when I looked at it in 2015, was 1,700. It's now gone up to 2,650. If you are curious to know the price rises of some of the other deal bags, the small size has, got, has jumped up to 3,000. The medium, and the medium used to be the small, very confusing. The medium is now 3,300 and the large is 3,700. So that's where the prices have gone to. When it comes to bags I wish I bought back then because the price has gone up so much, the, my number one thing that always really annoys me is that I never bought a Chanel Classic flap in the small size. I have got a classic flap in the jumbo size and I bought, I'm, I'm really glad that I have the jumbo because that's gone up to an insane, even more insane price now, which I'll tell you about in a second. But back in 20, 2009, 10 years ago, I had a classic flap on my mind, only I didn't have any money at the time. And uh, you know, I've spoken quite candidly before about my relationship with debt and like trying to get through things from university when I came out of university trying to pay off the debt that I'd incurred but also then you end up in this trap in this cycle of debt where you're eternally paying it off and you never get to treat yourself to anything and you know as human beings I feel like even if it's a coffee and a piece of cake from time to time when you're working hard I think it's human nature to want to treat yourself to something. And when I was in this cycle of paying off debt and doing nothing else except for paying off de debt and working and going home and doing nothing on the weekend because I had no money, I did go through a phase where I felt like I wanted a treat. Now, here's the thing. I was so close, I'm glad I didn't do it. I was so close 
to buying a Chanel classic flap in the small size and putting it on a credit card at the time. Guys, never do that. Unless you can afford to pay off the credit card, don't do it, take it from me. That bag would have been a millstone around my neck if I'd done that. But here's the thing. Weirdly, I think the price was similar to the mini Lady Dior. Back in 2009, the classic flap in the, I think I was looking at the smaller or the medium size, was 1,007 or 800 pounds. Now for me at the time, that was like huge, still big now. And I didn't decide to get it. But now if we look at how much they are now, this is, this is what annoys me. The maxi classic flap is 5,200 pounds. The jumbo, uh, AKA like the large size, that is 4,800. So I bought my jumbo in 2016 and it was 4,500, so four and a half thousand. It's now 4,800. The medium size is 4,300 and the small size has jumped to 3,810 pounds. The Louis Vuitton Neo Noe. How, how long have I been threatening to get that bag for? Didn't I first start talking about it in, I remember putting it in a January video where I was like, things I want to buy this year. I think I did that two years ago. And I've never, I've never bought it. Have you noticed there's a trend with all of these bags? The, the mini Lady Dior in black, the classic flap in black, the Neo Noe, the, what else? Another bag I'm gonna come on to in one second, which I won't say, cause then I'll ruin the surprise. All of those bags, they're classics. They always do them, they always will. That is the common theme. If I think that something's gonna, like, is gonna sell out, I'm more inclined to bite the bullet and do it. Whereas with classic things, because I know they're always gonna do them, I'm like, I keep deferring it. And then before I know it, the price has like risen to even more insane heights than previous. The Neo Noe, when I first looked at that, I feel like it was, just under a thousand pounds, like 980 or something. I'm actually gonna try and go back through my videos and find out. I looked at it earlier today, it's way over a thousand. And I'm like, what happened there? That's gone up a lot. I mean, I feel like, I don't know how you feel about this, but I do feel like Louis Vuitton put their prices up at a less rapid pace than Chanel. I mean, you know how we talk about Dior bags and you might be like, God, like 2,700 or 3,300 for a bag, that's insane, it is. But when you compare how much you can get for your money in Dior versus how much you get for your money in Chanel, it's like worlds apart. I mean, for a classic flap now, you're looking at over 4,000 pounds. You can get like two Dior bags for that. For like the price, how much is it again? 4,300. You could get, you could, you could get two Dior bags for that. Nearly. Yeah. Pretty much. The other bag, which I feel really conflicted about, and I'm kind of at the point where I'm thinking, I wish I got that before the price rise, is another one from Dior. And I can't believe I'm saying it. It's, it's the saddle bag. I don't, um, right, so the, the, again, like the black, plain black saddle bag, I wish I'd bought it before the price rises that happened last week, last week. I haven't bought it because I've got one saddle bag in the denim. I stand by the fact that I believe the saddle bag is like kind of unattractive. I really, I really look at it and I'm like, I don't know what it is about the denim version, but there is something about it that, do you want to see it? For those of you who haven't seen it, I'm going to go and get it for you. Wait there. I'm back. There is something about this bag in this finish that I really like. Look at the shape of it though. Isn't it really unattractive? I look at it and it's like, it's like a guitar or something or, I don't know. I, I like it and I don't like it. This in the denim has been the only one that I was tempted enough to actually buy. And it's a bag that weirdly I get the most compliments on, even from men. I had a guy yesterday actually comment on the bag and how nice it was. And I'm, and it's like, I'm talking about the kind of men that are not into fashion and don't even know anything. And they're like, 
that's really nice. And it's, I think it's one of those bags that somehow catches the eye. I would quite like to get it in the black leather, but I haven't done it because A, I know they're always gonna do it in that finish, and B, honestly, every time I look at it in the shop, I'm like, why do I want it? It's really not attractive, but then, but then the desire never goes away. I like this, I really do like it. I don't know why I like it. There's not even a lining in this bag. This bag is just like one big open compartment. I've had some of you in the past, when I talk about prices, to put the equivalent prices in euros or dollars or whatever currency you're in. Um, I don't do that on purpose because the price isn't as simple as a straight conversion. Plus as well, if I was to do every single currency, I'd be here for like the rest of my life. But the way it tends to work from my experience is that the price of these items in your locality, it's not as simple as what we pay converted into your currency. It's like very often other countries have their own pricing structure. If any of you know of any more price increases, please share it below. I'm aware that Chanel normally do two a year and I know one of them's in November because my birthday's in November and every November, it's always like the week before my birthday, the prices go up and I'm like, oh, that's annoying. Oh, by the way, I was gonna tell you the new price of the Oblique, because these have gone up, is 2,450 pounds. I don't actually know what the oblique was before. I feel like generally in Dior, all the prices have gone up by about 200 pounds, something like that.